CVS, the city of angels, home to Hollywood, all of the stars, all the shops, and me, the self-proclaimed world's best shopper. And while most people know LA for its fabulous Hollywood roots, Los Angeles is also a magically fabulous place to go shopping. I love thrift stores. Yeah! Hi guys, it's Amber. Welcome to my home, Los Angeles. And while I have traveled all over the globe to go shopping, nothing quite compares to my hometown. So today I'm gonna take you guys on a wild LA shopping adventure all around the city and show you the real hottest spots to go shopping. Ah uh, yes, my favorite. <laughs> so from one shop a lover to another, the unofficial declassified Los Angeles shopping. Number 10 is The Grove. The Grove is just classic LA fun. It's an adorable little outdoor shopping center and a tourist and local hotspot alike. It's full of street carts with, you know, overpriced knickknacks and well done up classic stores like Apple, Sephora, and some imports like Topshop. Don't even try to tell me this isn't the greatest outfit you've ever seen. It's super well manicured and has fun stuff like a little trolley to ride around in, you know, fur picks. Celebrities also do a lot of pop-up shops here, so if that's what you're into, there's often a lot of book signings and cool little pop-up things. It's also home to the iconic Farmer's Market, which is a cute little date spot, you know, if you wanna grab dessert. It's also got a bunch of little trinkety stores in there, specialty shops like a little stand full of only stickers, how fun. Side note, if you want a real local LA experience, pop around the corner to famed grocer Erwan and get $18 strawberries. Promise, you will never feel more LA than that. The hottest shopping mall is this one that I come to in every vlog, Century City. We're on top of the mall! <laughs> it's like Titanic. Okay. Ta-da! This is Century City Mall. If you're looking for your All American LA Mall, this is it. All kind of outdoor setting. It's a very like, honestly, just the trendiest LA mall there is. It's definitely a hot spot. A bunch of movies are filmed here, TV shows, all sorts of fun stuff. And it's also not unusual to catch me vlogging here. In fact, I come like every day. It's just a really pretty mall. Beautiful. Highly manicured, very nice versions of stores you could honestly kind of find everywhere else, but just a little fancier and a little more crowded. The one thing that they do have that's super unique is Italy on the top of the mall. If you want to check that out, it's super cool. It's basically like they brought Italy here. You guys know I love a pun. So it's a bunch of Italian food, um, very authentic kind of fun little way to pretend you're in Italy. Cool date spot. Super cute. You should definitely check it out. The only other mall that's even worth mentioning is the Beverly Center. The Beverly Center has more designer stuff, but it's all inside. It was recently redone, so it's super cool. If you want to like take a picture in the elevator, that's a fun place to hang out, weirdly. But um, I have not been to this mall in so long. I honestly don't even really remember what's here. <laughs> well, that's the store for me. Right across from the Beverly Center is something called Beverly Connection, which is where you guys see me go to TJ Maxx and uh, all the kind of outlet style shops. That's the Beverly Center. That's Beverly Connection. Literally just across the street. Why you would come all the way to LA to go to Ross, I don't know. But if that is what you're looking for, that is a place you will also find me almost every single day. I love this store. So excited. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, woo. PSS, a quick little walk away a couple blocks is the real, real. One of my other favorite brick and mortar um, kind of online resale shops. They have a location here where you can find all sorts of fabulously expensive high priced designer items, um, but for a little less than you would pay elsewhere. And that's that on the malls. <laughs> Coming up next is Robertson Boulevard. So this is Robertson Boulevard. This is a place I don't really come that often. But if you're looking for a street to stroll around before you stop and get lunch at a nearby restaurant, this is a great little shopping area. It is also home to the world famous Kitson. This is an iconic LA store. Honestly, it's just, you gotta go in. Fabulously overpriced nonsense. It is just oodles and oodles of fun. Like where else can you get this? Honestly, I genuinely can't think of anywhere else on earth. You can find the weirdest gifts ever in here, and it is so fun. Woohoo! Hell yeah. By the way, the best thing about LA, you can just wear whatever. No pants, literally no problem. <laughs> Cute little street to walk around. There's a Chanel here as well. 
Why are you forsaking me? It's closed, but you know, in the day it's open. <laughs> Plus, one of my favorite restaurants of all time is right next door. If you need a little spot to snack, the Ivy is one of my favorite restaurants in LA. So good. Next on the list is downtown Los Angeles. This is downtown LA. You're gonna wanna park in one of these little car park things. Your best bet. Just FYI, make sure you bring cash. Most everywhere is cash only. Downtown is one of my favorite places to shop, but not for the faint at heart. Super cheap, super fun. Is there a place called Santee Alley, which is where you're gonna wanna go for cheap fashions. It's basically all sorts of just, I mean, cheap everything. They got cheap shoes, cheap clothes, cheap anything you ever wanted, really. This is also where you see me shop for all of my formal gowns. So if you need something fancy, this is definitely the place to go, let me tell you. Downtown LA is the kind of New York of Los Angeles. PSFY, there's lots of different sections of downtown. Santee Alley is where the fashion is, but this is also where the fabric district is and all the craft stores that I always go to. Those are also downtown. My absolute favorite one, ta-da! Imperial trim and bead. So we're gonna go in here. Look at this, you guys are gonna lose your mind. Oh, look at all the shiny things. Could you just die? Oh my God. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So make sure you visit Benjamin, you know, if you want anything craft related, this is the place to pick it up. The flower district is also right here. Just a really fun little place to wander around and look at some pretty flowers. Um, take some fun Instagram pics and get some cheap bouquets. Yes, FYI, don't come alone. Downtown is not super safe, especially at night, but don't lead by example. I come down here alone all the time, but just FYI. Next up, we have the Hollywood Walk of Fame. <laughs> you can't come to LA and not come here. Home to all of LA's only landmarks, really. We have the Chinese theater, all the cool handprints and everything, and of course, the quite literal Walk of Fame. Walk on top of all your favorite Hollywood stars, stars. The Hollywood Walk of Fame totally lives up to its name. Quite literally, the Walk of Fame. Mostly it has a bunch of touristy stores, you know, if you want to get some Hollywood merch or anything that's just funny that basically says you came to LA, here's the place to get something stupid and fun. The wall's running into Zac Efron on a billboard, but it really is kind of cool to walk around here. They got the Dolby Theater, which in case you don't recognize it. That's where they have the Oscars. While you're strolling along the stars, there's a bunch of little street art and street vendors, but there actually is a little shopping mall, the Hollywood Highland shopping area. They have a bunch of, you know, generic mall stores. You will literally never see local people here, but you know, as a tourist thing, it's kind of fun. The best thing about LA is that everyone here is crazy and you really see it here. <laughs> Don't ever come here alone at night. It's a weird place. I brought George here and we brought Cookie Monster. You know, it's just lots of fun. Definitely a super touristy spot, but honestly, kind of fun. If you're visiting, you gotta go. By the way, this is where you're gonna wanna park. Still a total ripoff, but it's your safest best bet. If you wanna hit this surf, sand, sun, and uh, the other S, shopping, check out Third Street Promenade. They got a It's kinda loud for filming. <laughs> I used to come here all the time in college. This is basically like the all your, you know, generic mall stores, except outside and by the beach. They got a couple of designer stores here, but really this is mostly just for wandering around in the sunshine. Take a break from the shopping for a little tourist action down the road. Just a hop, skip, and a jump away. If you walk down the street, you will find the Santa Monica Pier. You know, you might recognize it from iconic cinematic masterpieces like uh, the Hannah Montana movie. Not to mention the view. Oh my God, gorgeous. There's a little arcade and some fun stuff to do. I don't know. <laughs> Walk around for a few minutes, get the experience. Local people don't really come here, but it's a fun little tourist spot. You gotta come. Pick by the ocean, it's worth it. <laughs> by the way, for everywhere on the tour, I included where to park because LA loves to rip you off. Don't get ripped off paying $15. Literally, if you park in one of the public parking areas, the first 90 minutes for free. Inside a scoop broke bitch chips. You're welcome. <laughs> Less than 10 minutes away from Santa Monica is Venice. We are on Abbot Kinney, which is kind of like hipster nation. Abbot Kinney is full of a bunch of boutique style stores. It's all outdoors. It's a nice little strip of uh, little kind of cutesy shops um, outside. If unique boutique style stores is your thing, Venice might be the place for you. You know, very summer LA girl kind of fashion. Bunch of ripped jeans, crop tops, and specialty things. 
Like this is how you shop for a suit in LA. Amazing. By the way, weed is legal in California, so. If you go shopping, you're gonna see a lot of these, especially in Venice. Little outdoor stores again with tourist stuff. It's a fun little area to walk around. Very, you know, homeopathic and natural and uh, just a very LA place to hang out. If you need a place to grab lunch while you're here, the butcher's daughter has excellent brunch. PSS while you're here, salt and straw, amazing ice cream. Vegan flavors too. P.S. When you're in Venice, street parking is the way to go. It's free if you can find a spot. Coming up next, we got Melrose Avenue. If you're looking for cool, thrifty stuff, this is the place. Melrose is a very trendy, cool place on, well, Melrose. <laughs> it's basically a bunch of lines of shops, um, kind of boutique -y style. There's not really brand name stores here. These are more like offhand, single owned, um, kind of cool stores. There's a lot of thrift stores and vintage stores and a lot of stores like this, which looks like you're going to Coachella year round, which I personally heavily fuck with. There's tons of street art too, and it's just a really fun, cool place to walk around. Oh, do I need this? And it's all 20% off, we love it. Hmm. It's just such a cool place. I always feel so cool here. Some of the most poppin' thrift stores are Buffalo Exchange, Crossroads, and my personal favorite, Wasteland. There's a lot of fun stuff to be found, but don't get it twisted. Thrift stores in LA don't mean the same as anywhere else. Um, yeah, they have designer price tags to match. <laughs> One time I ran into ASAP Rocky literally right here. He was just standing there. I said hi and he said hi. <laughs> it was love at first sight, clearly. <laughs> and if you happen to be here on a Sunday, check out the Melrose Trading Post. It is so fun. It's basically like an outdoor little mini flea market of a bunch of local vendors, a lot of vintage thrifted, uh, cool prices on some funky stuff for whatever you want, really. Not to mention also on Sundays, there's also the Melrose Farmer's Market. There's also farmer's markets all over town. Local fruit, local vendors. It's a super fun little place to hang out on Sundays. Celeb hotspot too. And of course, also on that uh, same kind of train, if you happen to be here on the second Sunday of every month, they also have the Rose Bowl Flea Market, which is so fun. It's a little bit away, it's down in Pasadena, but is one of the biggest flea markets in the world. A bunch of, uh, basically like the big version of the Melrose Trading Post. It's huge, all sorts of funky goodies, and uh, just honestly a really good social scene. <gasps> oh my God. Got the horses in the back. Silky shirts and and last but not least, you didn't think I would really do a video and not include this. And number one, Rodeo Drive. This is one of the most famous shopping streets in the world for a reason. If no budget shopping is your thing, this is the place to go. It's iconic and world renowned for a reason. This is one of the most beautiful shopping streets I have ever been to in my life. And y'all know I've shopped. Designer fashion, everywhere you look, the finest, fanciest, most luxurious stores full of the most fabulous treasures you'll ever find is right here. Millions of dollars of jewelry and display cases, handbags you've only seen in movies, and literally every designer you've ever thought of ever in history. Not to mention one of the only in the world, the Gucci restaurant. Serving looks to be served food. Okay, let's try it. It's good. I think. <laughs> it was like $20. <laughs> it makes you feel like you're living in a movie, truly. By the way, Rodeo is right across the street from the Pretty Woman Hotel. I am literally such a giant fan of my town. If you're looking for resale, hop around the corner to one of these stores. What goes around comes around is so fun. It's overpriced, but it is unbelievable. These, you guys, isn't this amazing? This is all vintage Chanel stuff. And check it out, this is not the only stuff. Like, is this not a look? How about this? Big mood, big mood. Oh my God, look at the white one, you guys. This is so chic. I'd get tanning lotion all over this though. <laughs> They also got the designer department stores, Saks Fifth Avenue and Neiman Marcus are off Rodeo as well. P.S. This is the lot you're going to want to park in, or you can park across the street like me. You can park in the residential area for free. This is one of my favorite streets in the world, by the way. Beverly Drive, unbelievable. Um, just a thing you have to do, coast down it. It is unbelievably beautiful. 
Not to mention the Beverly Hills sign, iconic right there, right off Rodeo. Stop and take a pic and take it all in. It's worth it. P.S. While you're here, if you want a good place to eat, you can literally have breakfast at Tiffany's on 208 Rodeo. <laughs> Even if you're just coming for a quick stroll, it's beautiful here. No need to buy anything to have a good time. Definitely a place you just gotta see. And that, my friends, was the unofficial Los Angeles shopping guide. If you have any questions at all, tweet me at Amber Scholl, DM me whatever it is you want to do. If you are lucky enough to come to the City of Angels, enjoy my home. It truly is magical here. Till next time, XO. Oh my god. Now that is a luck. By the way, yeah, I am just sitting on my car in the middle of the street that's not even my street. <laughs> she doesn't even live here. You're right, I live across the street. I'd live here if I had $80 million, I'll tell you that. <laughs>